Uh, if you click on your hard drive uh, and, you, and then you use the keyboard to press Command I, uh, that'll bring up this kind of info window. And uh, from there, you can obviously see what your capacity is, and then you know what you have available. And you know if you're not really sure what's taking up all your space, and you want to free up it, the hard drive space, uh, the best tool that I found to use for that is Omni Group's uh, Disk Sweeper. Uh, so we can actually go and download that together. All right. Um, usually, I just go to Google. And I will uh, I Google it from there. So Omni Group Disk Sweeper. There are other options out there like Daisy Disk, but I find that this one is the most straightforward, where it shows you the largest files on top and the smallest files on the bottom, so that you know they're just listed in size order, and you don't have to kind of dig through folders to see which folders have the most stuff and deal with the weird colorful graphs. Uh, it is a free download. Alright, got it in my downloads folder, let's export it. Extract it rather. Awesome. And I'm gonna drag it to the desktop. And this can, can run off of your desktop, it can run off of uh, you know from your uh, hard drive, I mean your applications folder or whatever whatever you prefer. Uh, so let's go ahead and open it up. Well, it's gonna say hey you you downloaded this uh, from the internet. Are you sure you want to open it? Say open. Okay, and then you want to give you the list of list of your disks. So uh, the disk that I want to sweep is a Macintosh HD. All right, and we'll hit sweep, and we'll give it some time to size. Now you know that this is uh, working or in progress while it's sizing because it doesn't give you like a like a loading bar or anything that it's still working. But up top, uh, towards the menu bar, you'll see that. Uh, it has sizing in parentheses that means that it's still working and usually it'll, it'll take you know five maximum of ten minutes depending on how large your your hard drive is so we'll just let that run and then we'll go through the folders and see what we can find to delete so it looks like the sweep just completed uh, it sweeped a total of 479.7 gigabytes. And on the left hand side, you have a list starting from the largest files going all the way down to zero bytes, which are just probably empty folders. So I like to start with the uh, users folder. From there, that's my um, account name. And here we go. We have everything listed here. And the documents folder is the biggest. Let's see what's taking it the most. So it looks like a parallel library. This is like a Windows 10 uh, operating system that I have on there. I want to keep that. I won't delete it. Uh, desktop and something called file system. So inside my file system, I have a bunch of games and uh, flash drive material, stuff for my dad. So you can obviously go through here and delete, delete, delete the stuff uh, if, if need be. Uh, let's move down to the library folder. Uh, in here, I have something called developer. That's uh, Xcode, want to keep that, won't delete it. Uh, application support, we have Steam and Google. So definitely want to keep that stuff, don't want to delete any of it. But in any case, you know, to each person there's going to be a difference uh, of what they want to delete, what they don't want to delete. Me, I'm in a place right now where all the data that I have on my computer currently, I need it, so I can't go and delete it. But this is just a method so that you're aware of how to, uh, you know, kind of speak through your data and see where what is and what's taking up all of your space. Um, so that's about it for today guys. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.